Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, my dear class. Okay, can you listen to me? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. very good. Yes. Excellent, excellent. No, I'm I'm going to be connected to myself. Okay. Okay. okay, my dear class, it's a pleasure to be here finally to finally meet you. I have been reading your names all these days, but I haven't had the chance to actually see your faces. I'm very glad that I have the opportunity to be with you here and to start this new journey along with you. How are you? How have you been doing? Just How are you, class? Hi. Okay, now I can I can start. ¿Cómo han estado? Cuéntenme, lo siento un poco serio. ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> vale la pena el comienzo. Ay, no. <laughs> Come on. No, you don't have to feel ashamed or nervous or anything because the idea is that we grow together, that we learn, that we progress in the English language, that we get new knowledge every day. And for sure, if you need anything, if you need any help, I am here to help you. Okay? Así que no se sientan apenados, no se sientan con miedo, no se sientan con pena. Siéntanse en familia porque yo estoy aquí para apoyarles. Gracias. Gracias. Ok, chicos. Un placer de veras ya estar con ustedes, de ya conocerlos. Pasamos. Pues, pues como les decía, pues ya tener la oportunidad de desarrollar nuevas habilidades junto con ustedes. Así que siéntanse bienvenidos a este nuevo módulo. Todos ya, ya recibieron clases antes en el en inglés corporativo, en inglés para el empleo o es su primera vez. Es primera vez. Primera vez. Primera vez. Todos son primera vez. ¿Quién ya, quién ya estuvo aquí antes? A ver, levánteme la manita por ahí. Muy bien. Jorge Humberto, Rocío, Carolina. Muy bien. Ok. Hey, José Carlos también ya, es, ya ha estado aquí antes. Yes. Perfect. Ok. So the idea is that we practice together, okay? This is intermediate four. So I think you have a little bit of knowledge of the language, so we're going to develop it here, okay? Don't worry about that. Today we are going to start. Uh, excuse me, I'm yes? sorry. Wasn't this the uh, advanced two? Mm, well, this is uh, intermediate four. Oh, because I got, I got a, uh, uh, an email that said it was uh, advanced too, so I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I'm actually looking at it right now. Yes, because um, let me see. What is your complete name? Genesis, Genesis Hernandez. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, Genesis. In that case, I am checking on my list, and I don't have you on the list. I am very glad to have you here, definitely, but I don't have you on my list. And uh -huh. uh, maybe we can we can check. Do you have the the WhatsApp group of your of the one that you that they sent you? Maybe there's yeah. a mistake on the link. Okay, okay. I, I am going to uh, maybe if you want you can send a message to them or I am going to um, 
to recheck with someone in charge, okay? Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, let me just check. Yeah, I am very happy to have you here and to have all of you here, right? For me, you can stay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, let me see. I am going to send a message. Just give me one second. Okay. Okay, Genesis. Eh, igual en el grupo de WhatsApp salen los encargados, los administradores. No sé si les puedes enviar un mensaje para que te corroboren el link. Mientras, pues, te puedes quedar con nosotros. No hay problema. En todo lo que te resuelva. Bye. Ok, yo les mandé. Pero, este, tal vez prueba. Lo que pasa es que me metí con el link del correo, pero veo, no probé con el del WhatsApp. Ok, Mejor prueba con ese. Este y... Y prueba con ese. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Thanks. Ok, Sorry. you're welcome. Bye. No, don't worry, no worry. Okay, my dear class, I am very glad to have many more people here. I have 16 participants. Remember that the idea of the class is that you have your complete name on the, uh, the Zoom meeting name and also to have your cameras active. Why? Because the camera is going to help you to be active in the class, to participate, to actually interact with other people. And because of this virtual world that we have now, the camera helps us to be connected, right? To have the person that we are talking to, to see the others. And I think it helps a lot uh, to, to develop other skills. So please remember that we need to have the cameras active, right? So it's a big pleasure to be with you. My name is Natalie De Flores. You can call me Miss Natalie, you can call me Lick Natty, you can call me uh, Teacher Natty the way you want because it's the way you feel comfortable. And I am going to be your facilitator during this module, okay? We are going to be together and I hope all of you, all of you participate and develop your English skills right? I am going to try to do the class as active as possible for you to enjoy it. ¿Cómo le gustan las clases? Así como tranquilita, activa, dinámica, con mucha interacción, mucha práctica, ¿cómo le gustan? O así bien serias y, y, y quietecitas. A mí me gustaría activas, interactivas, para que podamos practicar bastante y desenvolver la lengua, porque más que todo es <risa> creo yo. <risa> Okay, good, very good. ¿Algún, al... trabada, perdón. No, no worries, no worries. ¿Alguien de más? mucha práctica, por favor. De, de mucha sí. práctica interactiva. A sí. lot of practice, por okay. Todo. Realmente good. tengo sí. casi cinco años de no practicar, entonces. Okay, good. Me siento. Good. Okay. A lot of practice, okay. I'm going to do my best. Yes. You have a lot of practice. Very good. Another one? Sí, a mí me gustaría también que haya mucha práctica del idioma inglés. Okay, very good. A lot of practice. Excellent. A lot of English practice. That's very good. Many more? Anyone? Anyone else? Another, uh, another person who wants to express his or her feelings about the class? Yo de veras soy bien, bien, este, eh, bien dada a esto de que la educación es una vía doble. Lo que ustedes necesitan y lo que yo les puedo proveer como docente. Así que Cualquier necesidad, cualquier duda, el grupo es para practicar, así que vamos a practicar un montón ahí el idioma. Vamos a iniciar este día, les voy a, a mostrar, eh, les voy a mostrar un poquito un video de todas las cosas que están sucediendo gracias a Insafor y que gracias a Insafor estamos aquí presentes este día y que pues obviamente estamos eh, obteniendo todo este montón de beneficios gracias a todo, todo, todo lo que ellos están haciendo en pro de nuestro país. Así que les voy a compartir este video, espero que les guste un montón y este, para que nos demos cuenta y después ustedes me pueden dar sus comentarios acerca de lo que les voy a mostrar. No sé si ya pueden ver toda mi pantalla. Yes. Ok, ¿me confirman si escuchan el audio? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 está muy fuerte, lo bajo. Yes. Ok, veamos el video y después me comenta. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. 
nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaforp ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insaport, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Okay, so you see, Insaforp is doing many, many, many different things towards the benefit of all Salvadorian people. And you are a very good example of this. You are here, you are developing your abilities, you are developing your skills in English, thanks to all these good benefits that we have thanks to Insaforp. So are you happy to be part of this program? 
Yes. 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 Me too. Me too. Yes. I am very glad to be part of this great uh, opportunity to help others and to develop your abilities. Well, today I am going to start the class. I am going to try to practice all the, the English language as possible. So I am going to ask you to actually practice your English, okay? I don't know if you feel comfortable with all the class in English. I am going to try to do it like that because that is the best way for you to develop your English, right? If you listen to only English. And you might say like, no teacher, but it's very difficult. I don't understand. It's very hard for me. But the best thing is for you to train your ear to practice the language, okay? Pinky promise that you are going to practice your English. <laughs> so try to do it. If you don't understand something or if you have difficulties with something specific, tell me, teacher, I need help with this. Teacher, explain this again. Teacher, let's do this again, okay? And if you don't understand something, tell me as well, okay? Es un compromiso de ambos. Vamos a hablar la mayoría de, de la clase en inglés. Yo trato de hablarles las dos horas en inglés. Así que ustedes también aprovechen ese momento. Porque no vamos por el mundo hablando inglés o si hablamos inglés todo el día. Díganme quién habla inglés todo el día. Solo yo. ¿No? Yo les digo, a veces en el mundo no vamos por, por el mundo ahí diciéndole Good morning to the person on the bus. Here is my money. Take my money. Or where, when you go to the pupusas place. Oh, good morning, I want three pupusas. No, right? We don't have that opportunity. So if we have the opportunity to practice English here, let's practice. I am going to introduce myself and you are going to do it as well. Different things that you need to know about the platform. La plataforma tiene una habilidad para que usted levante la mano si necesita participar. Si se fijan, yo solo levanto la mano en cámara y la manita se levanta automáticamente por ahí. Así que por ahí van a decir, alguien levanta la mano. No sé si su, su computadora también lo hace, la mía lo hace. Cuando usted le pone la mano, sale ahí que ha levantado la manita. Vamos a actualizarlo entonces. <risa> entonces, eh, cuando necesiten participar, me levantan la mano en cámara o en la plataforma y yo les tomo la palabra. También eh, mantengamos el micrófono apagado para cuestiones de, de, de respeto ante el ruido, eh, les agradezco que nos dejen entrar en su casa, ¿verdad? porque sabemos que estamos en nuestra casa y ustedes están ahí en, en, en ese espacio, así que tratemos de mantenerlo apagado y cuando hay que abrirlo y platicar, hay que abrirlo y platicar, ¿ok? So, this is your teacher, this is me, I am going to introduce myself a little bit, this is me. My name is Natalie de Flores. I am a licenciada en idioma inglés, opción enseñanza. I have been a teacher for 19 years of my life. I started when I was very young. I started when I was almost 18. And I have been working almost all my life in teaching. I studied a uh, licenciatura en idiomas. I have three different diplomados in methodology. I have another diplomado in leadership and e-learning. I have taken, I don't remember how many courses of uh, didactics and pedagogy and also planning, curriculum design and, and everything. And I am trying to become an English expert because we learned every single day. You have to continue learning every day because that's the idea of the language. I have worked in many places. I started working at Universidad Católica del Salvador and I, I worked there like for five years of my life. Then we work at Instituto Americano de Idiomas. I help my coworkers to build up the academy. Later, I worked as a translator in Fundación Cristiana CFCA and I was an interpreter as well. I worked there. I worked for 11 years at Programa Superate. I worked with Regal International, but it's uh, English Corporativo. And I am also the principal of English Learning Center San Salvador. And I work there. So 
I have collected all my experience to help you learn your English every single day. Okay, so this is me and I am going to be more than glad to help you. I am also certified by INSA4 in the three different levels of English. And for sure, my pleasure will be to help you every single class. We, for sure, we need to work in the evaluations of, of the platform. And we are going to be working on this. And remember that you have access to the platform as well. They're all seeing access to the platform. Yes. Okay, so we need to work on the platform. If you don't have access to that, you need to check the email that you received, okay? In the email is the access. And um, to finish the module, you need to have at least 80% of all the homework and evaluations, okay? Tienen que haber avanzado arriba del 80% en su plataforma y tener todo completado. A mí de veras me gusta que mis estudiantes vayan arriba del 100%. ¿verdad? Ahí todo, ahí topadito el 100%. Vamos a trabajar juntos en eso también. Eh, the homework and all the things are in the platform. The videos are going to be in the platform as well. And also in the YouTube channel. All the homework and the, eh, the topics that we have had need to be completed every Friday, okay? So every Friday you need to cover a part of the platform, okay? We have midterm exams and final exams, right? Los que ya han estado con, con Insafor saben que la plataforma tiene exámenes de medio nivel y exámenes de final de nivel. Los exámenes de final de nivel tenemos que procurar terminarlos el lunes 18 de julio antes de la medianoche o antes, si ya los tienen terminados, ¿ok? Ya vamos a ir a ver la plataforma. And also, the final exams need to be completed on Friday, August 12, ¿ok? That's the last day of the course. El último día del curso será el viernes, 18, el viernes 12 de agosto, perdón. ¿Por qué? Porque nos quedó la vacación ahí en el medio. And for sure, the, um, the study book It's on the platform, right? We don't use any other material from uh, any other place. What is the study book? And I am going to show it to you. The study book is this one. Did you get it on the platform? No? Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. If, you, if you have it, if not, I am going to show it to you. I am going to show you right now. Nos vamos a ir por pasos para que todo esto quede sumamente claro. Okay? So, the book is in the platform and you can get it there. Remember, you need to have your complete name as it is in the DUI form. If you are just a listener, si son solamente oyentes, add the word listening, listener, sorry, to the name. Le puede poner su nombre y después oyente. And then, You need to, to have your camera during the complete session. And for sure, you have to make as much as possible to minimize the sound of the environment. Right now, because it's, it's raining, right? Maybe you listen to, to the rain here on my microphone. But uh, I really need you to participate, to have active participation on the different activities we are going to do. Remember, The attendance of the classes, it's obligatory. We need to work and come every single day. We have to be here 120 minutes of the class, okay? Vamos a estar aquí los, las dos horas que dura la clase. And for sure, we need to have active and effective attendance. The attendance, it's going to be taken in two cases, okay? At 8.20 and at 9.40. Yo le voy a tomar asistencia dos veces durante la clase, a las 8.20 y a las 9.40. ¿Para qué? Para que corroboren y que quede constancia de que ustedes estuvieron las dos horas en clase. ¿Ok? Sin, eh, Christy en, eh, let's see. Christy Hola. Hola. Este, fíjense que yo tengo una consulta referente a eso de la asistencia. Eh, yo le comentaba a la persona con la que me inscribí 
que los martes yo estoy recibiendo una clase de una maestría, entonces yo, yo termino clase a las 9 de la noche. Y okay. me dijo de que yo me podía conectar a partir de las 9 a las 10. Entonces, okay. ajá, que lo iban a platicar con usted para que estuviera sabedora que por lo menos los martes sí me iba a conectar una hora tarde. Ok, bueno, es muy bueno que me lo haya mencionado, yo ya lo voy a tomar en cuenta. Eh, Cristi, le voy a poner por aquí el comentario para tomarlo en cuenta. Gracias. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, déjeme. Ok. Muy bien, esos casos sí son muy importantes porque usted ya lo habló con los encargados, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Thank you, thank you. Cristia, that's your name, Cristia. Okay. Yes. Good. I am going to have the chance to meet you in a, in a moment. Very okay. good. So, uh, remember, attendance is going to be taken the two times, uh, the middle, at uh, the beginning of the class, and then at the end. And for sure, it says, se tomará como válida al escuchar al, al participante decir presente y tener la cámara encendida. Okay? Presente and with your camera. We are going to have one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, las sesiones uno a uno. No sé si ya todos las conocen y si no las conocen, pues se las explico en un momento. Todos los días, yo voy a asignar 10 minutos al final de la clase para atender a cada uno de los estudiantes. Vamos a tener uno a la vez. En esa sesión, usted puede traer temas específicos de lo que necesita eh, reforzar. Me los puede enviar durante el día. Yo los refuerzo ese día en la noche. Y pues obviamente... Eh, Puede tener preguntas de la clase o cuestiones específicas que usted desea mejorar. ¿Cómo necesita que yo le ayude? Ahí lo podemos platicar. ¿Okay? Para eso son las sesiones uno a uno. Para que usted me platique acerca de los avances que quiere tener, en qué manera le puedo colaborar, cómo yo puedo mejorar su, su desempeño. Si algo de la clase no le quedó claro, lo podemos trabajar ahí. O si usted necesita mejorar algo en específico, también lo podemos platicar ahí. El día de hoy... Le envié el mensajito a la que le toca quedarse a la sesión uno a uno. ¿Quién es? A ver. Ajá. Vamos a ver si me leyeron mi mensaje. ¿A quién le toca la sesión uno ahora? Le mandé su mensajito hoy en la tarde. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. A Carolina le toca su sesión uno a uno ahora. <ríe> el orden que vamos a llevar es el orden de la lista. Hoy se van a dar cuenta. Cuando les pase lista, iban a ir viendo el orden que llevan y se van a saber pues el día que les toca. El día que les toca, yo les aviso un día antes para que ustedes estén pendientes de prepararse para su sesión uno a uno. Eso es, no vayan a creer que, ay, me voy a quedar con la teacher, qué pena, me va a regañar. No, es para que ustedes mejoren y ustedes tengan un chance de platicar conmigo acerca de detalles específicos de, eh, de lo que les puedo ayudar, de la clase, eh, aclarar dudas, etc. ¿Ok? Eh, Let me see. Any question about this? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de esto, chicos? Ah, y los permisos, pues, no están disponibles, lastimosamente. No, este, si necesitan algo que sea de sumamente, que sea de suma importancia, que sea de, de, de pues, fuera de cuestiones de fuerza mayor, eh, es de platicarlo directamente con el encargado, con el administrador del grupo, eh, obviamente, si me, lo, si me lo comentan a mí, yo se lo comento a él y, pues, Ustedes se tienen que comunicar directamente con ellos. Como el caso de Cristia, que ella fue directamente con ellos y ellos me lo comunican a mí. ¿Ok? ¿Any question, people? ¿Any doubt? ¿No? ¿Es everything eh, Carolina. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. En, yes, en mi caso, fíjese que yo voy a platicar con la persona encargada porque yo estoy esperando una cirugía en la columna. Oh, okay. Y no sé si va a poder, eh, tendría que ser a partir de eh, la fecha de la otra semana. ¿verdad? No sé cuándo en realidad, porque me voy a ingresar como una semana aproximadamente. Oh, ok. Entonces, okay. pero uh -huh. cuando yo sepa, yo lo voy a comunicar, pero lo quiero anticipar para que se sepa que ya si no estoy, es por eso, por cuestiones de salud. Porque okay. no voy a poder estar... Eh, esos días, okay, por lo Carolina. menos una semana, porque ya las demás las puedo hacer aunque sea desde la cama. That's very good. Okay, Carolina, thank you very much for informing, because that is that is important. If you know the things in advance and you inform, for sure we can do something in order to help you, right? So, Carolina, as soon as you get the information, let us know, okay? As soon okay. as you get all the details, let us know.
Well, so as I told you that I was going to take the attendance and the first part of the class, I am going to do it right now. When you listen to your name, please say here or present, okay? Presente, you can say. And I am going to call your names. The first one that I have, it's Carolina Yamilet Hernandez Landaverda. Present. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Maria Melendez. Claudia Maria. Present. Present. Very good. Cristian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Here. Jorge Humberto Pela Fuentes. Present teacher. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present teacher. I'm Thank here. You. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Jose Rodrigo. At once, twice, three times. No, Not here. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette Marquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio. Manuel Present, Antonio teacher. Palma. Thank you very much. Present. Maria Genoveva Elias. Maria Elias, not here today. Okay. Miguel Angel Dominguez Santos. Miguel Angel. Okay. Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Rocio Veronica. Present. Thank you. Rosa Beatriz Flores. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Silvia Zuleima Rodriguez. Present, Silvia. <laughs> Creo que no se le activó el micrófono. Ahí tengo a Silvia. Creo que no se ve. Ahí está luchando con su micrófono. Ok. <laughs> Present, she says. Very good. Thank you. She sent it on the chat. Uh, Dan, uh, Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Vilma Ivet. Present teacher. Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, Omar Francisco Hernandez. Omar Francisco. Okay, and Dani Anthony Siguenza. Danny, Danny, not here today. Well, thank you very much. I have, okay, we are done with the attendance. You see, this is going to happen again at, at 9.40 at night. Okay, so let's continue working. Remember, my dear students, write the use of the different tools in Zoom. Right, the silence button or the mute button when you are not using it. Your camera has to be on all the time. Use the chat if you need to consult something. I am going to send you to work sometimes to the breakout rooms. Do you know how to use the breakout rooms? ¿Ya han usado los breakout rooms? Yes? Yes, okay. yes teacher. <laughs> okay, yes and no. The breakout rooms are little sessions in the session. Okay, maybe in these cases when we do group work or when we do activities in groups, you are going to receive an invitation to join the room. Van a recibir una invitación para unirse a la sala. Eso los va a llevar a una sala de grupitos más chiquitos para que nosotros trabajemos y desarrollemos cosas específicas. Okay, and for sure the ask for help button when you raise your hand and uh, for sure you need to respect your classmates as well. We are going to help each other, okay? We are going to help a lot. And for sure, we are going to develop abilities together. Si yo no sé, si me trabé, si mi amigo no lo sabía, y yo puedo, yo ayudo, okay? Also in the WhatsApp group, if you need help with the platform, if you need help with an exercise, send a message and we are going to help, 
¿ok? Si de repente nos trabamos en la plataforma, un mensajito al grupo, chicos, estoy trabajando en tal ejercicio, ¿qué pasó? Ayúdenme. Y cualquiera que esté ahí disponible, podemos ayudarle. Y yo, obviamente, voy a estar disponible para ayudarle en cualquier momento que lo necesite. ¿Ok? I am going to take you to check on the platform. We are going to check on the platform. And uh, we are going to start after this one. This is the platform that you are going to uh, work on. As you can see, it has four different sections, right? It has four different, uh, four different sections of work. And in each section, you are going to have the different exercises, right? You are going to have different exercises on which you are going to work, right? Here you have little homework. It says homework, right? Tareas. And you are going to be working on them, right? After each class, you can come and work on each of the homework, okay? Here you are going to have the class. You are going to have the, the class of the day. And then you are going to have a homework, okay? Si se fijan, tenemos la clase, tarea, la clase, tarea, la clase, tarea, para todos los días de la semana, okay? Here you are going to find your class. And here you have the homework about the class. And here on the top, it says a student's, a student's manual, okay? Aquí está el manual de trabajo. Lo pueden abrir y lo pueden descargar, okay? So, uh, the the class i mean you're going to find the class and the homework every friday you need to have every class finished okay toda la sección tiene que estar terminada para el día viernes por ejemplo y si ustedes pueden avanzar con la siguiente pues perfecto pero la idea es que ustedes vayan completando la plataforma y que pues todos los ejercicios estén desarrollados alguna pregunta con la plataforma chicos no So, uh, teacher, uh -huh. uh, what do you recommend to, to us uh, make the, the homework or work in the platform before the, the class? Or... Okay. I will recommend you to work on the platform before. So you know the topic, you know the idea, you know the development that we are going to have. So you can ask questions in class. Okay. Si ya vienen con el conocimiento requerido, si ya lo vieron, si ya lo estudiaron, si ya repasaron un poquito en el manual qué es lo que vamos a ver, lo más recomendable es que lo hagamos por nuestra cuenta siempre antes de clase. Así cuando estemos en clase usted sabe lo que está pasando, sabe que se está desarrollando y todo, y evitamos estar así como, uy, eso no lo sé, no sabía que eso iba a pasar ahora. Es mejor venir preparados. Okay. Yo recomendaría que lo estemos estudiando antes de cada clase, Así, cuando usted termine la clase, ya podrá corroborar si todo lo que hizo estuvo correcto. Okay? okay thank you. That would be my recommendation. But I need you to work on the platform. I need you to advance on it. Not to leave it there forgotten, right? Ay, la plataforma se me había olvidado. No, work on it. Okay? Also, on the student's manual, that it's the one that I am going to show you right now. So this is the manual that we're going to be working on. We're going to be using it in the classes. Here you have all the things. You have the grammar information and you have the development of the classes. So you can have it for you to practice at home and for you to practice after the class and before the other class, okay? So we are going to start today. No more questions, my dear students? Más preguntas? Que todo nos quede clarito para que podamos irnos desarrollando ordenados en el módulo. Okay, so we are going to start. Today we are going to have the welcome and the introductions. We are going to work a little bit on that. And for sure, we are going to start by uh, doing this. I don't know if you can see my screen. You are going to, uh, to do the first activity of the day, it's welcome to the class. This is me, okay? I need every person in the class to have a notebook, okay? Todos tienen un cuaderno y un lapicero? Sí o no? A ver, muéstramelo en cámara. Show me the pen and the pencil and the notebook. Very good job. Si no lo tienen, agarro uno de al niño. Hoy no fueron a clases, ahí hay cuadernos. <laughs> so, have your notebooks ready. Good. In every class, you need to have a notebook, 
because I need you to write sentences. I need you to write paragraphs. We are going to develop everything, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, the four skills, okay? Not only grammar, not only speaking, we're going to develop everything. So on your notebook, on your notebook right now, I need you to write a little paragraph about you, but tell me who is this person that I am talking to? What are the things that you like to do? What are the things that you enjoy doing? How do you like to be called? What are your hobbies? Important things that you need me to know. What is something important that you want me to know from you? I need you to write it on a paragraph. I am going to give you three minutes to write a paragraph about yourself, okay? It has to be on a paragraph. Write it down and you're going to say, this is me in my case. I am going to do my example. I am going to do my example and you can take ideas. This is me. My name is Natalie de Flores. I am an English teacher. I am 37 years old. I live in San Salvador and I love English. My hobbies are reading, writing, dancing, and teaching. I love it. Um, I am a mother. I have one son and my husband for sure. And I have a pet. I love animals. And for sure, I love doing other things. I love cooking as well. I can cook a lot of Salvadorian dishes. Uh, I have been working on this for a lot of years and I plan to continue working in the rest of my years. I am a principal in an academy. I work with English every day and I like it. So nice to meet you. This is me. Do your paragraph. Okay, ahora van ustedes. Cuéntenme ustedes qué es lo que quieren que yo sepa de ustedes. Go ahead, do it. Do it there in a paragraph. This is the moment. No less than five lines. No tiene que tener menos de cinco líneas ese párrafo. We need to work a lot. When you finish, raise your hand on the camera. Okay, finish your paragraph. I am going to give you three minutes for you to do it. I'm going to put it in, in a timer. Important information about you. Okay, when you have it, raise your hand because you're going to share it with the class. Three minutes. your likes, your dislikes, the things that you love to do, your hobbies, your job, your life, anything that you consider important. Two minutes. When you finish, raise your hand on the platform. Okay, Cristia is the first one. Someone else who have finished? Very good. Diana, ahí dejen levantadita la mano. Así voy viendo cómo van a ir participando. 
57 seconds, 55, 54. I am making pressure on you. <laughs> Thank you, Rocio, you are number three. 43, 42, 41, 40, 40 seconds. Hurry up, hurry up. Thank you, Claudia, very good. Raise your hand, raise your hand. 28, 28, 28, 28. Jorge, very good. Tatiana, very good. Thank you. <laughs> I have one notebook on, very good. <laughs> It was like, no me mira, levanta el cuaderno. Jose Carlos, Jose Carlos, very good. Thank you, Rosy. Nelson, did you finish? Okay. Thank you. The time is over. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to start with Cristian. And for this one, I am going to stop sharing so we can have all the all the attention on Cristia, okay? Cristia, tell us, who is Cristia? Uh, good night, everyone. My name is Cristia. I am 29 years old, and I have a degree in business administration, and currently I am studying um, MBA. And... My, uh, uh, I'm currently a production planner in my company. And about my hobbies, I like to travel to different countries and meet uh, new people and learn about these cultures. So you love traveling. What, what countries have you traveled to? Um, Peru, uh -huh. Cuba, Belize, uh, all Central America. Yes. Nice. Hey, yes. that's beautiful. Yes, I really enjoy it. I, I can imagine. I can imagine. Thank you, <laughs> Cristia. Claps for Cristia. Yeah. I am camera. They are free. Go ahead. Claps, 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 claps. Hey, class. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Y los aplausos para Cristia? ¿Dónde está? A ver, Cristia. Thank you very much. Diana, tell me. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Diana. I like to be called Diana or D. My friends also call me Chere uh, because of my last name. I'm 29 years old. Um, I study psychology at the University of El Salvador. I work at WebHelp as an analyst of career paths. Um, what I like to do on my free time when I'm not working is watch TV, read, and listening to music, and I also love to sleep a lot. <laughs> Very good, Diana. Who else loves to sleep? A ver, ¿quién más le gusta dormir? I think everybody. <laughs> it's like, hey, with two hands. Very good. Thank you. Claps for Diana, please. Very nice. Very nice. So you are a psychologist. You are a psychologist, Diana. Very yeah, good. Yeah. What, a, what a curious last name, the one that you have. How do you pronounce it? Chereguino. Chere, chere. Sí, Chereguino. Oh, Chereguino. Italian. Oh, very good. Thank you very much for the clarifying. Thank you. Juan de Dios, go ahead. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Juan de Dios. Uh, I am an industrial engineer. I'm working in a factory as a production manager. In my free time, I like to watch, watch action movies and I like to enjoy with my family. And I like to visit my parents. I like with my two kids and my dog. Okay, very good job. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Well, very good job. So you have one dog. What, what is the name of the dog? The name is Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> lucky. Okay, what a lucky dog. <laughs> Very good job. Thank you, Juan. Excellent. Very nice. Tatiana Michelle, go ahead. 
Hello, everybody. My Hello. name is Tatiana. I work as a back office agent at Telus International. Uh, I am 35 years old and I really love studying English too. Uh, what about my hobbies? I like dancing, but I prefer watch Netflix and I love sleep a lot of too. <laughs> um, uh, I have a son, uh, he's 11 years old and really love spend our time together because I always have, I always been working. So when is my day off, I prefer spend my time my time with my with my son and we love cook in my day off because he has to cook alone so i prefer do that that's all <laughs> very good job tatiana thank you claps for tatiana yay very good yeah thank you we love days off to spend with our kids. That's fantastic. Thank you, Tatiana. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. Mr. Jorge Humberto, go ahead. Good night, everybody. Hello. Hello, my name is Jorge Vela. I'm 42 years old. I'm civil engineer and I work on that. Uh, I hope we is running. I have eight years to, to run. I like it really, I like it. And I like to play football too. Uh, and visit uh, a lot of places in the El Salvador and to no other countries. Uh, I like the pupusas and I want to learn English. Very good job. Raise your hand if you like pupusas, people. <laughs> <laughs> the two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, pupusas are, are the, the main thing here in the country. Thank you, Jorge. It is cool because you love running, but you love pupusas. <laughs> I say, ah, oh, three pupusas, another kilometer. <laughs> It's because of I, I love pupusas, but I don't love I don't love running. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's like uh, only only when you run to the pupuseria, right? That's uh, the only as, running that we do. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I I like to run for eat pupusas. <laughs> you you run to the pupusas place. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I, I have a friend who, who is a runner and he has a pupuseria. So it's like, <laughs> so he has both things in one. Thank you very much. Miss Rosa Beatriz, go ahead. Claps for your friend, Jorge. Rosita, go ahead. Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm Rosa Beatriz, but I prefer that you call me Beatriz. I have been working as a Spanish teacher for over six years. I'm 32 years old, I'm married. My main hobby is to watch American series like uh, all the Chicago <laughs> series I have. <laughs> okay, I, yeah. I watch it. Um, mm, uh, I have three pets, two dogs and a cat. And nice, two dogs and one cat. Very beautiful. Who likes cats? Raise your hand if you like cats. I do like cats. Very beautiful. Thank you very much, Rosa. Very nice job. So you are a Spanish teacher? Yes. Nice. I have been working in that for more than six years. Yay. Very nice that you are an educator as well. Claps for Beatriz. Yay. Very good job. Thank you, Beatriz. Let's go with Rocio Veronica. Hi. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little sick. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, my name is Rocio Lopez and I am industrial engineering. And well, my friends call me Ro and I am 24 years old. I like to spend time with my family and my friends every weekend, but I also spend time at my church. Indeed, I see in there. And my hobbies are play basketball and sleep all the time that I can do it. <laughs> That's good. 
So sleeping and singing, that's pretty good. So that you yeah. praise God like that. That's pretty nice. Very nice. Thank you, Rocio, for sharing. Claps for Rocio. Very nice. Yeah. We hope you get better soon. So very beautiful, the job that you do. Claudia Maria, go ahead. Good night, everybody. Hello. Uh, my name is Claudia Melendez. I have 32 years old. I am an engineer of Universidad Católica Salvador. My favorite hobby is to read. I love to read. And one of my favorite books is The Hunger Games. Um, I love to spend time with my family and with my friends. I also have two kids, one of eight months and the second of eight years. And I love to cook also. <laughs> I love to make um, um, brownies for my kids and pies and all, all that things. Uh, yeah, I'm glad to be, to be here today. Hey, thank you, Claudia. Very nice. An industrial engineer with eight months and eight years. You have the two worlds, right? Yeah. <laughs> one with eight months and the other one with eight years. But what a beautiful yeah. experience, the one that you have. Okay, so you love cooking brownies, right? Hey, that you love pastries and you love bakery. That's very beautiful. Excellent. So now you know if you need cakes or something, <laughs> Claudia Maria is the one. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Claudia Maria. Claps for Claudia Maria. Yeah. Congrats for your baby. He, he's very young. Carolina Jamilet, go ahead. Good night, everyone. Hello. Uh, my name is Carolina Hernandez. Um, I am 49 years old. I live in Lourdes, Colón, and I work with a secret psychiatric, uh, and I am a medical assistant. Uh, one of my dreams is to be able to speak English. Uh, my favorite hobbies is nighting uh, and watching TV. I like Mexican food and soaps. Oh, nice. You like, you like soups. What is your favorite soup? Chicken, hen. Um, what is your favorite? Todas. All of them, <laughs> all, all of them are your favorite. You know, yeah. the, the Salvadorian's favorite soup is beans soup, right? Sí. A quien yeah. no le gusta la sopa de frijoles. A ver. Todas. A todas. todas. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carolina. Excellent job. Thank you. Claps for Carolina. Very good. If your dream is to speak English, you are in the correct place. Definitely. You are in the right place. And you are going to do it. Mr. Manuel Antonio, go ahead. The microphone, sweetie. We cannot listen to you. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Hello. Hello, hello. We can listen. Good evening, everybody. My name is Manuel Palma. I'm glad for to be in my first class after three years. I studied in this company in English Corporativo. Uh, three years ago, and I am four years old. Uh, I like to play football, and I would like to learn English very well uh, because it's a skill that may help. That may help is in my work and other place. I need to learn to hear to speak, and and I uh, nice to meet you all. Oh. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Manuel. Yes. After three years coming back to the English language. That's yes. pretty good. Yes. You are yeah. going to do you are going to, to do a very good job. You know, English is a matter of practice. If you learn yeah. it back in your life, but you practice again, then you are going to undust all the knowledge and you are going to get it back. Thank you, Mr. Manuel. Let's go Thank with a did we clap? Yes, right. Uh, Mr. Jose Carlo, go ahead. This is me. I am Jose Carlos Arigueta Romero. I'm 28 years old. Actually, I work in the principal hall from my city since five years ago. 
I'm a father. I have a daughter. My daughter's name is Elliot, and she and my wife are my motivation to I stay here for I stay here. Okay, they are your motivation for you to stay here. Very good. Yes. Very nice. Thank you, Jose Carlos. Yay! <laughs> Claps for Jose Carlos. The next one is going to be Miss Olga Marleni. Hi, everyone. Hello. My, my name is Olga Gomez. I am a Conin assistant. I work in San Salvador. I have, I live in Cologne. I have a daughter. Uh, she has 13 years old. And we have a pet. Her name is Fiora. She is a dog. And my favorite hobby is work in the park and watch some movie in the weekend with my family. Nice. So watching movies. What is the name of your dog? Fiora. Fiora. Is it a dog or a cat? Dog. It's a dog. Okay. Thank you, Olga. Very nice job. So claps for Olga. Very nice job. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Yvette. Hi, everybody. Hello. My name is Yvette Alvarado. I am an architect. Uh, I live in Suyapango. I live with my mom, my sister, and my son. I like read, especially Stephen King's book. I like study and learn new things. I love New York City and travel with my family. Hey, very beautiful New York City. What a beautiful place. Claps for Yvette, very nice. Claps, claps, claps. Very good job. Let's go with Silvia. Good evening. Hello. Um, my name is Silvia Suleima. And uh, my favorite hobby is read. And my favorite book is 90 Minutes in the in the Heaven. And I like uh, watching the documentaries. Um, I live in Chalchuapa and I am a lawyer. Hey, Silvia, very beautiful. Chalchuapa is a very beautiful city. I love it. <laughs> I live there for most of my life. <laughs> it's a very beautiful place. Thank you. Claps for Silvia, very good people. Hey, se me duermen, se me duermen con los aplausos. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Okay. And let's see, Norma Carolina, go ahead. Uh, my name is Norma Villeda. I live in Tonacatepeque in San Salvador. I like uh, pets. I have a little dog. My favorite color is, uh, is black and red. My favorite food is Chinese food. And I like see movies or Mexican movies is my favorite and listen to music, all type of music. All types of music. Very good job, Norma. Nice fluency. Very good. Beautiful. Yay. Let me see. Who am I missing? ¿Quién se me queda? Levanteme la mano. Who's missing? Who's missing? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Linda. Okay. Uh, my name is Linda Marquez. I live in Cuscatancingo. I am 42 years old. I have a daughter. She, her... She is uh, 21 years old. I work in a furniture store. I'm a seller. On Sundays, I love walking with my dogs in the park and watch Netflix. Hey, very beautiful. You love to walk with your dogs and watch Netflix. Very beautiful. Thank you. Claps for you. Very good job. Very good job. And I think I am not missing anybody. No se me queda nadie? Chicos? No? Okay. I took advantage of this moment to evaluate your English. I took advantage to listen to the English that you have, to listen to your mistakes. I am going to do some comments about it. Remember, when you are saying hello to a person, at, well, at this moment of the night, you say good evening. Good evening to the group. You don't say good night. Good night is when you go to sleep. 
when you go to bed. So you say, good evening. Remember that. I am a psychologist. You say, psychologist. That's the pronunciation. I am an industrial engineer. I am an engineer, right? You don't say I engineer, you say an engineer. Um, you don't say I live. You say I live. I live in San Salvador. I live in Tonacatepeque. I live in Sonsonate. I live in Santa Ana. Okay, I live. Um, I am, right? I am a teacher. I am a psychologist. I am a lawyer. I am, right? Uh, or you say am. I'm a lawyer, right? Um, I prefer watch Netflix. I prefer to watch. I prefer to watch, right? With an infinitive form after prefer. The next one, you say, I always been. Say, I am always working. Someone said, I am always being. Someone say, I always been working. And it says, I am always working, right? Uh, we love cook. We love to cook, right? I am a civil engineer, right? I am a civil engineer. When you say, I have, I have eight years to run. Say, I have eight years of running. I have eight years of running. So it was in the case of Humberto. I live in the El Salvador. You say, I live in El Salvador, right? Without the, because it's not possible. I live in El Salvador. The next one, I love to sing to sing with the G at the end, right? I have 32 years old. You say, I am 32 years old. Okay, you get, you don't use have, you use I am. The next one, you say, um, let me see, my favorite, no, my favorite, my favorite, right? A Mexican, Mexican food. And let's see, uh, they, they are my reason for I to stay. They are my that I they are the reason for me to stay here, right? <laughs> I love when you laugh because you know that it's your correction, right? And that's good because you identify your mistake. And when you say she has 13 years old, she is 13 years old, right? She is 13 years old. I am an architect, right? Architect. I'm an architect. I like read. No, I like to read, right? I like to read and my favorite color is black and blue. No, you say my favorite colors are because you're going to mention two. So good, dear students. I took advantage to take some notes <laughs> when you were talking and why I do that. Ustedes van a decir, eh, la teacher, vea, me estuvo corrigiendo. ¿Por qué? Para que no volvamos a cometer los mismos errores en una siguiente vez. Okay, very good job. Thank you very much for sharing about you. A clap for everybody. Very good, very good. Great job, great job. Okay, my dear students, we are going to work a little bit on the topic. We're going to work on the topic of the day. And as you can see, today we're going to work a little bit on distribution channels, right? On distribution channels. Do you know what it's a distribution channel? As you work in different companies and everything, do you know what it's a distribution channel? No idea? Not yet. Yes. Okay, a little bit of an idea of what a distribution channel is. Who can tell me? Uh -huh. um, communication? Yes, it can be, but it's mostly based on here. Read the question, okay? I have a question right there. And who can help me to read the question? Mr. Hey, Jorge. Teacher. Okay, Linda, go ahead. Can you help me to read the first question here? Okay. Uh, does your company sell product, products and service directly to the consumer? Okay, does your company, does your company sell products and services directly to the customers? Does your company sell products and services directly to the customers? For example, if I make tortillas and I sell tortillas, I sell it directly to the customers, right? I don't go to the market to buy tortillas and I resell them in my house. No, that's another process that we are going to study later on. So my question is, is the company where you are working right now, based on these ones, that they sell products directly to the customers? Yes or no? No. Yvette? No. no. No, they don't sell products directly to the customers. 
Do you have an idea of a company that sells products directly to the customers? Any example? The fast food restaurants. The fast food restaurants, okay. They create the things and they sell it to the customers, right? It's a direct exchange that they have. And here I have another question. What kind of business distribute their product to other stores? And in this case, do you have any idea of a company that distributes the product to other stores? The supermarkets. The supermarkets, good. Another example. For instance, uh, say Inverton. Yes, another example. Beauty supplies. Construction materials. Construction materials, very good. Another one. Libraries. The libraries, good. Someone else. The drugstores. The drugstores, right? Some drugstores, they sell products to other stores and they take that to the customers because they distribute their product to other stores. Yes, Manuel? Any other example? So <clears throat> does the place that you work create any type of product people or only services? Only services. Only services, right? But in this case, do you give the service directly to the customer? No, right? So you have other distribution channels. In some cases, you are just the channel for that help to go to the customer. So that was like the introduction to the topic, right? The different companies that sell products to the different customers. Here I have a short conversation that we are going to practice. And in this one, you are going to see some of the vocabulary that I am presenting you. Let's go and check on the conversation here. Here I have, and it says, listen to the pronunciation. It says, I am thinking about selling physical copies of an audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay, listen again. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program to, uh, sorry, for entrepreneurs. Really? Because you are doubting, right? Say, really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to, our, to the customer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Practice with me. Remember, when you are reading, you have to stop on each of the punctuation marks. Okay? Cada vez que leemos, nos detenemos hasta cuando encontramos un punctuation mark. Punctuation marks son los puntos, las comas, Los signos de interrogación, los signos de admiración, todo eso denota una pausa. So here you have, I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Go ahead. I'm thinking about selling physical copies. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about, about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? You say, really? 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 Come on. 
No, te creo. Really? 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 Well, really? we will need to check with a consultant. Will we need to well, check well, with a consultant? We will need to check with a consultant. We will need to check with a consultant. Well, we will, we will need, need to check with, with, with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. I don't have any options. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Directly. Directly. Everything. 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 Through. Through. Through our online store. Through our online, online store. Me neither. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around. Maybe we could ask around. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership Let's give a try. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Let's give a try. Let's give a try. Let's give a try. And if it is Let's give a set, try. we can sell more from our catalog at the store. If it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Catalog. 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 Okay, let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Let's give a try. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay, so do you know all the words on this conversation? Todas las palabras que están aquí las conocen? No. Yes or no? Aha. No. Good, good moment. Now. No. Okay. No. New words for you. What is a new word? So like teacher, what is the meaning of? And you can tell me any teacher, of them. Teacher, what is the meaning? Entrepreneurs. 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 Okay, then we have one. Another one? Se lo voy a marcar todas y después se las explico. Uh -huh. Me neither. Retailer. Okay, me neither. Retailer. Retailer store. And let's see, a retailer store. Retailer store. The four paragraphs. In paragraph number four. There, there. There you go. <laughs> Retailer store. Another one? Only this. Only this one? Yeah. Only entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. And no more questions? Everybody? No from me. Uh, profit, teacher. Profit. Very good. Profit, profit, profit. Here you go. Any other one? A ustedes que no les dé pena, porque pueda que otro que también tenga la misma duda. Anything else? Okay. What is the meaning of entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs, it's, um, for example, here in El Salvador, it's very common. People who make their own business. Right, people who create their own product. It says like, I am thinking about selling physical mm -hmm. copies, physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs mm -hmm. are the okay. ones that create their own business. How do you call that in Spanish? Emprendedores. Emprendedores, right? Those are the ones that create their own business, right? They are thinking about selling physical copies of the audio training program for entrepreneurs. And it says, really, we will need to check with a consultant. What is a consultant, people? You told me that you knew oh, yeah. an, expert, an expert in the topic. An expert in the topic, right? An expert on the topic. Imagine that if you need help with the mathematics, you go with an expert, right? And he's going to give you the best idea. If you need help with a business, you go with a consultant because they know the best for your business. 
right? I don't have any experience with distribution options, right? Distribution options are the channels that you are going to have to get your product on the market. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Online stores became very popular with the pandemic. Do you remember, or did you, before COVID, did you ask for food a lot as you did on the pandemic? No, you used to pass to the restaurant to buy the food. Did you ask for the supermarket online? No, right? Uh, hey, did, you, <clears throat> did you pay all these bills online? Did you receive classes online before the pandemic? It was very strange, right? It was very strange for everybody, but we got all this twist in life. And now this is a very normal thing for everybody to be here in class sharing. It's a very normal thing for everybody to have Zoom meetings, to have these sessions, to work from home, right? All these things change our perspective about the things that we used to do in the old fashioned way. And it says me neither, me neither. It's like, you don't know and I don't know either, right? Me neither. It's like, do you know? No. And you? No. Me neither. What will be the meaning of them? Yo? Tampoco. Tampoco, right? Me neither. 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 It's like, uh, if you don't know and I don't know, it's like, me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see. We could ask around. Le podemos Podemos preguntar a todos los que conocemos. We could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. What is a profit? Una ganancia. Yes, the earnings that you are going to have. That's a profit, right? Imagine if you have these frozen, frozen pupusas, right? And you want to put them on the market and you sell. Here in El Salvador, people don't like frozen pupusas. But what about in Canada, in Australia, in Arabia, right? They say, oh, pupusas, what a delicious thing. Even if they are frozen, <laughs> they are going to buy them because it's a product that here, maybe in our country, is not going to have a lot of market, but in another country, it will. And it will be very famous. I have a friend in the United States that they buy these frozen pupusas because they don't have any pupusas place near their house. So it is a profit that the person is making here in El Salvador with the retailers that they have mm -hmm. in, uh, in Los Angeles for the pupusas in New York and in all these places, right? And they see how much profit they could get from a partnership with a retailer store, right? That they are going to resell the product. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalogs at stores. Okay, so you see, if they create distribution channels for this, they are going to sell more. And for sure, you can sell other products. What is the product that they want to sell? What is the product that they want to sell? Physical. Physical copies of what? Audio training. Audio training. Of the audio training program. And who are they going to look for help? Who are they going to look for help? A consultant. A consultant. I, I don't know how you, how you knew it. <laughs> A consultant, right? Do they have experience on this? No. Yeah. No, right? No, they don't have. Oh. How, how is the way of distribution that they have? Okay. The online store. Online store, stores. Online store, yes. Very good, through online stores. And uh, are they making money with this right now? No. No, right? Because they are not doing. And what are they going to do if the program works? Uh. Yeah. With a Sell more uh, they with a catalog. catalog. <laughs> they will sell more, more. from our from. catalog at stores. Mm -hmm. So if it works, Cata they are going to create and they are going to sell more things on their catalogs. Very good job. So 
Let me see. I need two volunteers for the conversation. Five, four, three, read, two. Teacher. Yes, to practice the conversation. Okay. okay. Claudia and Jorge. I am going to ask for more. Don't worry. Necesito otros tres más después. Don't worry. Claudia and Jorge. Claudia is Ellie and Jorge is Joel. Go ahead. I am thinking about telling difficult topic of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog, catalog at source. Thank you very much. Very good job, very good job. Now, I have a couple of comments before we go with the next one, okay? Voy a ir corrigiéndolos así. Voy a ir corrigiendo lo que vayan pasando para que el siguiente no vuelva a cometer el mismo error. You say, directly, practice with me. Directly. 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 Consumer. Directly. Consumer. 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 Success. 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 I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the cons consumer through our online, online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay, very good job, very good job. Say entrepreneurs. 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 Consultant. 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 Success. 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 Consumer. Consumer. Consumer, consumer. consumer. very good, the consumer. The oh, next sure. one. Very good job, Mr. Manuel and Diana. Thank you very much. Who's next? Who's the next ones? I have two participants with the hands up. Christia and, and Yvette. Go ahead. I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer, consumers, <laughs> consumers through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we will get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Very good job. Thank you very much, ladies. Very nice. Directly, directly. Directly. Maybe we could ask. We could ask. Okay. Right? We could ask around. Yes. Profit. We'll ask around. Profit. Profit. And if it is, Right. If it is, it's one word. Like, and if it is a success, if it is a success, and catalog. Very good. Awesome. The next volunteers. Thank you, Juan de Dios. And thank you, Carolina. Go ahead. And then Rocío and Claudia Maria. Okay, Juan de Dios and Carolina. Go ahead. I, I think think about selling physical copies of all audio training program for entrepreneurs. 
Really? Well, I will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer, consumer through our online store. Um, neither. Neither. Maybe, pardon? Neither. Uh, neither. Neither. Maybe we correct around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give it a try. And if it has success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Very good job. Thank you very much for the effort. Very good. Selling, you say selling. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs, right? Consultant, consumer, directly, neither, could, profit, retailer, success, and catalog. Then next volunteers, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. It was Claudia Maria and Raquel. Um, okay. Uh, well, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with a distribution option. We sell everything directly to the consumer to our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog at store. Very good job. Thank you very much. I didn't get any mistake. Very nice pronunciation. Very good. Very good job. My final volunteers. ¿Quiénes van a ser mis últimos dos voluntarios? My final volunteers. Thank you, Olga Marleni and Jose Carlos. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Le noté que quería participar. <laughs> very good. Olga and Jose Carlos, go ahead. Okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a con with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with our retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at the store. Very good job, very good job. We say a success, a success. Very good job, thank you very much. Now, I need you please, people, I need you to get one object that you have next to you. Agarran un objeto, el que tengan por ahí cerca. Cualquier objeto, any object. Any object, very good. Oh, a lot of cell phones, a pen, very good. Okay, now I need you to give me the first paragraph of the conversation. You know, I am thinking about selling these water bottles to all the people who loves going to the gym near my house. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a good idea for yes, me to yes. sell these water bottles to all the people who go to the gym Maybe here near my house? <laughs> <laughs> Give me two. <laughs> Some glass. So, what are you thinking about selling? I say, you know, teacher, I am thinking about selling, and you give me the object, and you tell me to whom is your uh, it's going to be your target market. Tell me the object that you are going to be selling and your target market. Let's see who has the object there. Diana, you have a, a cell phone, I think. <laughs> Tell me, what are you thinking about selling and who is going to be your target market? Go ahead. I'm thinking about selling a cell phone to all the 
people who had class at Zoom. <laughs> okay, so Diana is thinking about selling cell phones to all the students who have Zoom classes. She has a very big market. Where do you think she should go first? ¿A dónde irían ustedes si quieren vender teléfonos para clases en línea? Maybe to a school. To schools, very good. So you should have a partnership with schools. University. To the universities. Very good job. Yeah. Another object. Manuel, what are you going to sell? Please tell me the, 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 the conversation. For sure, for yes, sure. Please. You can say, I am thinking about, I am thinking about selling. You tell me the object and then you tell me your okay. market. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. I'm thinking about selling my cup of coffee <laughs> in the coffee, the coffee cup. <laughs> okay. So you are going to sell the, the cups. My cup. Okay. Cup of, of, Okay, so in that case, you say, I am thinking about selling cups for coffee. Porque su, su taza de café, no, no, no se la van a comprar. But the cups, yes. To the coffee stores. What is the first place that you need to go? ¿A dónde the coffee cup. To the coffee the cup. cup. <laughs> okay, coffee cup no nos paga nada por este comercial. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see. Thank you very much, Manuel. You are going to have a big, big, big market. ¿Quiénes de aquí le comprarían una taza, Manuel? Uh -huh. Good. I love thank coffee. You. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love coffee. I will buy one. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Cristia, what are you selling? Um, a pen. I'm uh -huh. thinking about selling a pen for all people who want to write about their lives. Okay. So are you going to sell only one pen? or pens in general? Pens. Uh -huh. I am thinking about selling pens to pens. all the people who like writing. Yes. So it is a very good deal. It is a very good deal. ¿Cuántos de ustedes no han andado en la calle buscando un lapicero y no cargaban ni uno? So you're like, oh my God, well, where is it? Where is it? And you don't find it. Good, good business. We can start on the bus stops and they, they are going to buy a lot. Thank you very much, Christian. Let's see, Tatiana, what are you going to sell? Uh, I'm thinking about selling, but I don't know what is the name of this is. It's hair gel. Hair gel. Hair gel. Hair gel. Yeah, okay. Like gelatin, but gel, hair gel. I was looking for the, for the, <laughs> for name, the name, but it was the same, so. <laughs> It's the same. Okay. okay. So I'm thinking about selling a gel. Hair, hair, hair gel. Hair gel. Hair gel. To whom? A to, 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 the, to the boys and the older men. men. To, to the boys and all the men who want to look stylish. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have a lot of customers. You can see. Let okay. me see. Thank you. Thank you very much, Diana. Let's see. Mm. The last one. Yvette, what are you going to sell? I think about selling um cable charge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Cables to charge your phone. And um, this is uh, for different uh, cell phone charge. Okay. And I'm selling um, all people. To, uh, to everybody. Uh, to, <laughs> to everybody. To everybody who has a cell phone. And there you have for four cell phones at the time. Hey, that's entrepreneurship. A good product. <laughs> that's a very good product, right? Yes. When you we say can do a partnership. Yes. <laughs> Let's do a partnership there with the cell phones of Diana. <laughs> I need to buy two. Yes. Okay. Imagine there, you, when you say like, préstame tu cargador. No, lo estoy ocupando fulanita. No, it has four entries. <laughs> what a good thing. <laughs> Definitely. For all the family. 
Very nice job. So you see that it's the idea of a distribution channel, right? When you know a product, when you know the target and when you know who is going to receive it, right? That's the distribution channel. Here, I have a couple of words that I want to focus on and uh, for us to, for sure, pay attention to. What it's a wholesaler. Who can help me to read? Thank you, Rocio Veronica. Ah, oh, no, Rocio, it's sick. Let's see, uh, Nelson. Okay. <laughs> Poor Rocio, no, le vamos a cuidar la gargantita. Ro okay. Nelson, go ahead. Help me to read it. What it's a wholesaler. Okay. An intermediary in, in, the, in the distribution channel that was in, in bulk and sell to ratio. Okay. It's, thank you very much, Mr. Nelson. A wholesaler, it's an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers, right? It buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Compra en mayoreo y le vende a los revendedores. So this is a wholesaler. Some examples for this, I have a couple of examples here. Cristia, can you help me to read the first example? Okay. These prices are often as low as those you get wholesale. Wholesale? Okay, wholesale. 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 These prices are often as low as those you get wholesale, right? Siempre sale como el precio tan bajo como cuando lo compra en mayoreo. The next ones. Manuel, help me with the next one. Wholesalers in my city often go to Pricemart. Wholesalers in my city often go to Pricemart, right? That they go buy in bulk and they go to the little stores and buy it in detail, right? That's another idea. Diana, can you help me with the next one? Wholesale deals are for bulk purchases which means you buy a lot of each item. item. A lot of each item, right? Like when you go to the center of the city, like when you go to the center of San Salvador and you buy a lot of things, a lot of things of the same product, and then you sell them one by one or you give it to the different distributors. And the last one, Juan de Dios, help me with the last example. A company who sells clothing to boutiques in the area. Okay, the company wholesales clothing to boutiques in the area. So they go maybe to another yeah. country, they buy a lot of product. Imagine if you sell jeans, for example, you go to another country, you go to Guatemala, for example, you buy thousands of jeans and you bring them to the market in San Salvador and then they sell it on a different price, lower than the big stores, for example, or the big uh, stores like in Metro Centro or in other places, right? But they have a little bit lower pricer because they buy in bulk. Si se compra en mayoreo, obviamente el precio es más bajo. So that's the yes. first one. <clears throat> the next one says, a distributor. What is the meaning of this? Jorge Humberto, can you help me to read? An agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. Exactly like that, right? It's an agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to customers, right? It's a distributor, right? A very good example is the one who distributes all the snacks in El Salvador, right? To all the little businesses that take them to the customer. What is the name of that company? That they sell all the churritos and stuff. Yeah, no. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and you were, who, who, what's the name? What's the name? Right? And that's a distributor, right? Because they sell all these things to the little stores. Here, we can create an example. Who can help me to create an example? Do you remember the one on the, on the conversation? Recuerdan el ejemplo de la conversación? No? About thinking? <clears throat> about yeah about the distributor, distributor. But, and let's create one with the distributor how can we create a sentence 
Here you have the meaning. Aquí tienen el ejemplo, el significado. An agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to customers. Can you give me an example? I gave you one. I can, I will give you the first example. The main distributor of snacks in our country is Diana. The D factory. <laughs> you know the name of the factory, the D factory, <laughs> for sure, right? That is the main distributor. And we can say, we, we can ask the distributor for a better price on the product, right? And here you have an example of how to use the word distributor or how it works in a sentence, right? We can ask the distributor for a better price on the product. Do you have any other example? ¿Se les ocurre algún otro ejemplo? Claudia María. The principal distributor of soda in El Salvador is... <laughs> the C <Cola>. company. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say the principal uh, soda distributor of El Salvador is the CK company, right? There you go. You know what it's the CK company. We have it there. And we, we know that it's very famous, right? But maybe they are going to ask for uh, the rights and all that, and we don't want any problem. <laughs> but here you have an example of a distributor. What about a retailer? What is the meaning of retailer? Uh, Yvette, can you help me to read it? A person or business that sell good to the public in a small quantities for use. Okay. It's a person or a business that sell goods to the public in a small quantities. So they can go, and the same example that I gave you, they can go to Guatemala to buy 1,000 jeans. And they can come and sell it like two here, three here, five here, 10 here, right? They are retailer. What is the meaning of retailer in Spanish? Exactly. Ventas al? Menudeo. Al menudeo o al detalle. Very good job, right? That is a retailer, right? That it's a retailer. A good example of this is all the little stores that we have around, right? We have a lot of stores. Now these mini supers or the mini grocery stores that we have, that they go to a big company and the big companies bring little products to them and they resell them to the customers, right? Ahí está la tiendita de la esquina, que antes solo vendía unas dos, tres cositas y hoy vende de todo, right? They are retailers because they buy right. in bulk and they sell in detail. In this case, can you give me an example of a retailer? What is a good example of a retailer? Uh, supermarket. Exactly, right? The supermarkets, good. What else? The person who sells uh, char charger cables for <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Yvette, you say <laughs> that they buy thousands of chargers and they come and sell them in a small quantities. Very good job, right? The Chinese, Chinese stores. The Chinese stores, good. Yes. All the stores that we have there in, in, in the center of San Salvador, right? What about yes. the next one? Here we have a consultant. What is the meaning of this, Carolina? Miss Carolina, can you help me to read? Hi, teacher. Can you help me to read, please? Um, uh, Consultant. Okay. Uh, there you have. Ahí lo tiene. El que está en la pantalla. Ayúdeme a leerlo, por favor. Ah, okay. Uh, consultant. Consult. Consultant. 
consultant, a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logic. Okay, a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistics. And on the conversation, we had it in the conversation, right? Because they say we need to ask. Here the you consultant. have it. We need to ask for a consultant, right? Consultant. Here you have it. Well, I need to check with a consultant. I don't have yes. any experience. So they are looking for someone who has the experience and the knowledge on the topic. Let's go with the next one. The next word that we have for today. It is manufacturer's representative. What is this, Manuel? Can you help me? An individual agency or agency agency or company that sells uh, manufacturers products to wholesale and retail customers. Okay, <clears throat> this is a manufacturer's representative. A problem might be that you can do the products that you have the products that you produce everything, but you don't know how to sell it. So here is when the manufacturer's representative enters and they say, I am going to distribute your product. Okay, yo se lo voy a vender, yo se lo voy a distribuir. And they put it on the market to big stores, to small stores, to some people, to some a public. So. This is a manufacturer's representative, the one who is in charge of putting all these products on the hands of the customers, right? Let's go back to the book and we can keep on answering the next parts. Here, I was asking you the different questions. I, I asked you this one, how is she going to expand the business? How is she going to expand the business, people? According to the conversation. How is she going to expand the business? Selling physical um, copies of, our, of the audio training program. Uh -huh. Selling the physical copies. What is another online thing that she's going to do? Selling online is uh -huh. Well, she's going to sell online. But she's going to look for someone. Who is she going to look for? Sell more. A consultant. She's going to look for a consultant, right? Because she wants to sell more. And for sure, she's going to do what? A partnership with a retailer store. Like what, what you want to do to sell your charges, right? And the next one. What is the next question? Do Joel and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? No, they don't. No, no they? No, they don't. They don't. No, they don't, right? No, they don't. And what indirect distribution channel are they considering? What online. distribution channel? Online. Online store. Online. Okay. Este el que ya tienen. We sell everything directly to the customer oh. through our online store. But which is the other one that they are considering? A retailer store. A retailer store, right? A retailer store. Because in that way, they are going to get to more people. Okay. Before we go over this class, we are going to match the meanings. And I am going to give you some minutes to see if you remember the different vocabulary that we studied. And for sure that you can match with the correct answer. So you can tell me what is number one. I'm going to give you some minutes for you to do it on your notebook. What is number one, number two, number three. Where do I have to place them? Check on this the number one. one the, the number one is wholesaler. A wholesaler? It oh, says sorry. an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Do you agree with this? He yes. says that yes. number one is yes. a wholesaler. Number two, an it's agent. A retailer. Retailer. Okay. Retailer. Very good. It's a retailer, right? An agent who supplies goods to stores. Number three. 
A person or business that sell goods to public in small quantities. Distribute. 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 Distributor. Distributor. What about number four? Consultant. 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 A consultant. And the last one? An individual Manufacturer. agency Manufacturer. or company. Manufacturer. Manufacturer. Representative. Hey, very good. You were paying attention during the class. That was very nice. A clap for everybody. Yay. You see, it is not that difficult to pay attention to the yeah? You might say, like, hey, yo no, yo no estoy como en el área de ventas. Y mire, hoy adquirimos a lot of vocabulary from the topic. That was a very good thing. Before we Teacher, finish, yes? Sorry, I have a difference. Uh, a retailer is not a person or a okay. business. Here, here, here. Let's check. That's what I am going to do right now. I am going to show you again the definitions. And here I have a wholesaler. It's an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Is it correct? Yes. Yes, right? That it's a wholesaler. The next one. Let's see. Yes, number one, it's correct. What about number two? It's an agent who supplies goods to stores. What is that? A retailer? It's not an agent. No, distributor. It's a distributor. It's a distributor. Distributor, right? It's a distributor. What about number three? A person or business? It's a retailer, right? A person or business is a retailer. Yes. Very good. And what about the next one? A professional? Consultant. Yes, it's a consultant. Yes. And an it's agency? Correct. It's number oh, five. Sorry. A manufacturer's yes. representative. You see, that what Diana did right now, it's very important because she said like, mm, something is wrong here because I remember the information yes. was different. And that's pay good. attention. Es la importancia de tomar notas. Hay que tomar notas mientras la clase está pasando. Chicos, les voy a tomar asistencia, porfa, de nuevo, para asegurarnos que todos estuvimos en clase y después de la asistencia me voy a quedar con Carolina en nuestro one-on-one. -on -one. Ok, remember to say here or present. Carolina Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Claudia María. Present. Cristia Natalie. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Jorge Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. No. Juan de Dios. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Linda Yvette. Present, teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present. Thank you. María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Let's see, let's see. We don't have him. Ok. Eh, Nelson Gabarrete. ¿Es Gabarrete o Navarrete? Quizás uh, Gabarrete. Gabarrete, ok. Norma Carolina. Gabarrete, yes. Present teacher. Thank you. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michel. Present. Vilma Ivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Well, my dear class, for tomorrow, I need you please to download the manual. Re I need you to uh, practice what we did today on page number one. And I need you to check on the next page that it's page number 10. So you know what we are going to be working on tomorrow. 
I am very glad that I had the opportunity to serve you today. And for sure, I will be more than glad to serve you tomorrow. Tell me, what was something new that you learned today? Dos o tres que me digan. ¿Qué fue lo, lo que aprendieron este día? Algo nuevo que se llevan de clase. New vocabulary. New vocabulary. Very good. Improve some pronunciations. To improve pronunciation. Very good. What else? The different agents to sell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Different Distribute. different distribution channels. Very good. Who else? Alguien más? Okay, Bali. In pronunciation. Okay, very good. You improve pronunciation. Also, please, for tomorrow, I need you to prepare what are the areas of improvement that you have, okay? What areas of improvement do you consider that you have? If you tell me, teacher, I need to improve reading. Teacher, I need to improve listening. Teacher, I need to improve my vocabulary. I need you, please, to bring that information tomorrow because in that way I can find ways to prepare my classes according to your needs. Okay, my dear class, have a very beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for another session. Have a great night Thank and I'm going to sure. stay with Carolina, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Bye. It was a pleasure to meet you. Have a beautiful you. night. You. You're welcome. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Nos quedamos con Carolina y Amilet. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Nelson. Hello, Carolina. Hello, teacher. Este es su momento, solo para usted. <laughs> thank you, Carolina. Tell me, how did you feel in class? Um, eh, I am. I am a, a vocabulary, a new vocabulary, um, pronunciation, um, uh, only teacher. Only that. And only how that. did you feel? ¿Cómo se sintió usted en clase? How did you feel in class? Uh, bien. Very good. Very okay. good. Um, no tengo muchas preguntas por ser la primera clase también. <risa> entendí, entendí, ¿verdad? Lo que eh, hasta el momento. Este, creo que la de mañana va a ser más interesante por lo que estaba viendo acá en la distribución de los, eh, los canales de distribución de los uh -huh. de la consumo de productos porque son diferentes. Yes. De, uh, hay tres líneas, estaba viendo acá ya en el, en el ejercicio que es para mañana. Ajá. Ajá entonces, la línea entonces, directa, que, la línea de, ajá, de menudeo. Exacto. Sí, ajá, entonces creo que se va a ser más interesante. Ok, eh, entonces, entender. Carolina, ¿qué son las cosas específicas que a usted le gustaría desarrollar en clase? Eh, para mí, teacher, lo que me cuesta bastante es, obviamente, Obviamente el idioma, ¿verdad? Entenderlo, entender, porque yo tengo poco vocabulario, poco vocabulario. Entonces, eh, la teacher anterior me dio un link en el cual yo soy escuchar y escuchar y escuchar conversaciones para poder eh, educar el oído, me dijo ella, para poder educar el oído, porque... Si me cuesta a veces, no es que yo no sepa la respuesta, sino que me quedo en el aire porque el oído no lo tengo bien desarrollado aún para poder escuchar bien qué es lo que me están preguntando. Ok. Aunque a veces yo uh -huh. sepa la respuesta. Ok. Uh, and in this case, uh, Carolina, well, I can continue helping you with, uh, with providing you this type of practice. And for sure, something that it's very important is that you can actually read aloud, that you can have the chance to read aloud. For example, if you have the manual, si ya tiene el manual de, de, de práctica, váyase. Por ejemplo, en la página que vimos ahora, toda la página, irla leyendo, leerla en voz alta. 
comparando okay. con la pronunciación que tuvimos ahora, right? With the pronunciation that I did, with the conversation that I did. You can check on the video tomorrow so you can compare if you have questions on pronunciation. But the okay. best thing for you to practice, right? It's to listen. And in some cases, when you speak aloud and you listen to yourself. A veces ya el escucharse un poco hablar de manera ya de leer en voz alta. Ya no solo leemos aquí, que decimos, ah, sí, ahí leo como perfecto, ¿verdad? Sino que uh -huh. es como leer en voz alta y decir, hey, I am listening to my mistakes. I am listening to the things that I need to improve. So that's a very good, that's a very good way to practice. Also, a lot of listenings, a lot of listenings. And if you, uh, something that you told me, it's very good. I was checking the class for tomorrow, you say. That it's very important because if you have difficulties with the language and you check in advance, you are not going to be that lost in class, okay? Cuando usted ya revisa previamente la clase y llegamos al momento de la clase, it's like, I was reading this. I was practicing this. Esto ya lo estuve leyendo, ya me acordé, ya lo vi. So uh -huh. that's a very good thing. Okay, something else, Carolina, that you want to add or for me to help you with? Algún otro no. punto que usted necesite eh, trabajar, mejorar? Um, no, teacher, solamente. Only that. Okay, what about the writing? How are you doing in writing? Are you good at creating sentences, at creating ideas on writing? Yeah, uh, um... Uh, para escribir, sí, se me queda. Escritura, sí. Para la escritura, sí, soy buena. Regularmente no olvido cómo es la palabra. Oh, pro... Y a veces la pronunciación, bastante bien. Lo que me cuesta ya es eh, el oír que me están preguntando y qué voy a contestar, obviamente. To create, es... to create ideas and sentences. That's the main sí. problem. Do you have a way to practice? Do you have someone to practice with? Uh, pues yo practico, sí practico porque, eh, bueno, de hecho nos dijo eh, también los teachers anteriores que escucháramos música, pero música lenta, uh -huh. música lenta, no música, no nos pusiéramos a, a querer escuchar Eminem, dijo, <risa> sea, <risa> sea, yes. no que mucho, yeah. música suavecita, lenta, para poder eh, oír bien la pronunciación y poder eh, educar el oído. Ok. Siempre, ¿verdad? Eso, las películas, eh, también esos tips, nos dijo el teléfono, ponerlo en inglés, uh -huh. eh, las películas, aunque usted ya la haya visto diez veces, pero como usted ya se la sabe, <risa> póngala en inglés. Sí, en algunos casos, it helps a lot. Aunque solo no esté viendo, que solo esté oyendo. Que ok. Solo esté oyendo para poder seguir okay. el libro. And from the and from the class in general, did you get all the ideas of the vocabulary, the the different uh, meanings, the different ideas that we were using, the conversation? Yeah. You yeah, got yeah. all the ideas there. So that's very important. Yeah. And in any case, in any case, Carolina, when you have a question, when you have a question about the topic, when you have a question about the meaning, the pronunciation, don't doubt on asking me, okay? Because I am, the main idea that I have for this class is to help you with everything that you need. So if you have a question on pronunciation, send me an audio, send me a message, and I can help you with that. And for sure, I am going to, taking, to take notes that I am going to look for different links for you to continue practicing. I am going to share them with you and with all the class in general, so you can start training the ear. The first thing that you do is to start training the thumb, okay? La lengua es lo primero que tenemos que empezar a entrenar because mm -hmm. depending on the position, you get different sounds, you get different uh, like pronunciation ways, different joining sounds you are going to see in a, in a video that I am going to send you, okay? Le voy a enviar un video que es precisamente para eso, para diferenciar los sonidos. La posición de la lengua, la posición de la boca, el momento de contestar. Y eso le va a ayudar un, momento, un montón con lo que está buscando de mejorar el idioma y la producción. Ok. Ah, ok. That's, that would be okay. a very good thing. And for sure, practice the vocabulary in advance. 
practice the, the, all the pages that we're going to check during the week. So you can check on page number 10, 11, 12, and 13 on the manual. Check on page 9, 10, 11, and 12, right? Mm -hmm. For you to get the knowledge. Paella revisando desde ya, para que cuando lleguemos a la clase, usted ya lleve el conocimiento listo. Okay? Mm -hmm. Carolina, if you okay. need any help, don't doubt on asking me for help. Okay? That okay. would be a very good thing. For me, it will be a pleasure. It has been a pleasure to talk to you and also to find ways to help you. Okay, Carolina? Okay. Anything else that you want to add? No, teacher. No. Okay. So I really appreciate your time and for sure you're staying in this last minutes of the class. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Practice the next page about the distribution channels because we are going to study that tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Have a great night. Mm -hmm. Take Good care. Night. It night. was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.